What up guys? Today we turned your Minecraft comments about the new Nether update into actual updates. Check out blue blazes that can help you create water in the Nether. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to find a new piglin beast to kill him for his tusk drop, which can be used to make a really strong pickaxe. Or maybe you want to hitch a ride on a nearby ghast. Well, if you do, don't forget to bring your nether trident so that, you know, you can set mobs on fire from afar. Mmm, tasty. Perhaps you just want to be one with the pigmen. Well, if you get yourself a pig mask, then all these guys are sure to welcome your open fists with open arms. Most of today's recipes come from log.zip channel members. You can tell by the awesome badge next to their username. Join today to increase your comments chance to be picked and leave some more nether suggestions in today's comment section because we're gonna do another. Alrighty, update number one, Blue Blaze, suggested by channel member Lori Plumley. What's good, girl? You'll actually need a special item known as a blaze trap. And as you saw to make it, you need three iron ingots, one blaze rod, one bucket of water. Right click near any blazes you find in the nether to turn them into a blue blaze. Now be careful because they'll still fire off fireballs at you, but these special blazes won't kill you. In fact, they do something quite interesting. They turn lava, <laughs> sign in my way, to water. Okay, so we have a bucket of water from the chest. Obviously water instantly disappears in the nether, but with the blue blaze, placing lava nearby will turn it. Oh, the poor thing, he's stuck in the water. What a terrible way to go. You know, you can move out of the, uh, um, okay, good. He appears to be fine for now, but behold, we got water in the nether. Now, if I were to collect this and try and place it again, it disappears, so, oh no, <gasps> he died. Anyways, number two, blaze trident suggested by noob Jesus. 13 or maybe it was Jesus anyways you'll need four blaze rods and one diamond for your nether trident and not only can it be thrown but it will burn any entities nearby as well what's good babies yeah check it oh my gosh overkill I wanted some of the meat you know look at this they're all just going mad oh look hey we got some meat that's good uh, yeah I'm getting hungry look this guy's out of here he's like I've seen some things buddy 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 Hold on, I wanna show you my friend. Where is it? Oh, interesting. So, it looks like the fire stayed permanently where, look at, look at this, watch, look. The fire is permanent wherever the nether trident lands. That is awesome. Or maybe I'll just have some problems that need to be addressed and you like setting things on fire. Well, it's <laughs> bad. This trident is the answer for you and also only ever do that in Minecraft. Actually, now I'm kind of worried about the trident. Well this point it's too late we should, we, should, we should just move on number three the piglin spears suggested by yours truly next gen zen requiring two blaze rods and a piglin tusk a new drop from the piglin mob which gets you your piglin spear now we don't know if the piglin's gonna drop a piglin tusk but hey if it did that'd be the I, i'm gonna go get my trident it burned away now, since we're not in the combat snapshots, we cannot necessarily use the far reach against these guys with this weapon. So instead, it's got looting seven on it. So check it out as we kill this piglin beast. Ooh, there's the tusk. But more importantly, yo, we just got five raw pork chops. Uh, it's whatever. But okay, what? So what's this one? Yo, zombie. Yo, he sucks. Hey, hey, stupid. Hey, <laughs> what'd y'all get me? Nine, nine rotten flesh. Yo, that's good for trading to clerics. If you didn't know, we actually remade the Nether update entirely in a previous video we recently did. You should check it out at the end of this one. Alternatively, save your husks and tusks and musks and all the other things for a tusk axe because you're gonna need three of them. Alongside two sticks to get your tusk pickaxe with fortune seven Baby this thing is beautiful looking might I add and probably highly illegal, but check this out mine away Check out what we got. Okay well, <laughs> That'll give us two but look we get we've only mined two ores and we're already okay three ores ten coal four ores 13 the fortune level on this is insane Why don't we try some of the quartz as well? Man, this is gonna be the way to get any mining done if you wanna get excess gems. We are getting a lot of gems from doing this. In terms of mining speed, you know, it's all right otherwise, but yeah, you'll wanna save it for your ores. I'd like to mention, by the way, that this was suggested by channel member Unauthorized. So, 
you know, I didn't know if I was allowed to talk about it, you know, because username and all. And another channel member, Dinky158, brings us number five, Enchanted Flint and Steel. You need eight soul sand and one flint and steel to get the enchanted version. It allows you to add blue fire in game. However, the downside is you only get one use out of your flint and steel. But the other upside is you cannot put out this fire. And standing on it will give you a wither effect. So not only is it excellent for traps, but I, I, <laughs> it's fantastic for decoration as well. Don't worry, we got plenty more of these. It doesn't matter what block you put it on, you can put it on anything and it will continue the burn. But it won't burn blocks. It will only burn if you stand right on top of it. I'm so hungry. Okay, is it gonna damage this guy? Yo, it does. He's dumb. He walked right into it. Ow. Update number six, Pigman Mask, suggested by channel member. It's a glitch one. You'll need eight raw pork chop and a skeleton skull, which you can get from having a charged creeper blow up a skeleton. And then you can get your pigman head. It's got a really cool effect. Wear it, and no pigman will attack you. Wow, I fit right in. Look, they all want to say hey, but you know, that's all they want to do. See, they're all agreeing. Hey guys, you want me to punch another one of you? Yeah, okay, well they just stopped making the Oh, he got a little chicken on him! Hey, what are you doing to him? Hey, look at me, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Oh, okay, big man over here. Okay, so what happens if I take this off? Hey, we good, baby, we good. Look, they ain't even mad at me now. He's so dumb. You put it right back on. You can't. Well, I mean, I guess they're missing half their head. Alexander Pace suggests number seven, the ghast saddle. Oh yeah, baby. To make it, we're gonna need some ghast essence, which is a new drop from the ghast. So, so give it to me. Oh man, I think it fell in lava. Who puts a gas spawner right next to a lava pit? What are you doing here? It's a nice view, huh? Anyways, gas drop these now. Just take my word for it. You need five for a gas saddle. Now, we have to work within the limitations of Minecraft. So, unfortunately, there's no way to control a gas, actually. At least not with insanity code. So, for the time being, you can ride them in creative mode. <laughs> Press a button, summon a gas, throw the saddle nearby the gas. Oops, I missed him. Uh -huh. Get over here! There we go. Oh, there we go. Don't ask questions. We're on a journey here. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. So, okay, so what happens in survival mode? I am curious. We might have to defend. Oh my gosh, gas battles. What am I, insanity? There's literally comments getting in the way. I like how my gas isn't attacking me. It's kind of the best thing I've ever seen. Yo, I ain't mad about this at all. I, I, I really want to get a shot out on him. Come on. Oh, way he goes. Well, oh my gosh, no, no, no. Oh no, it's not my comment, please. Oh. Number eight, a fishing rod suggested by Neppy Neppy Nepu. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's a, it's a fishing rod made with blaze rods, right? Except not, mmm, mmm. Can be used in lava to fish for cooked fish. Y'all ready? Check this out. Can we just, whoa, what was, uh, some of the magic action that is the fact that we code in all of these. So there's a lot of command magic that's actually going on behind the scenes for every single one of these updates. So you just got a little preview of it. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my fish to come on through. Come on now. Maybe we should fish just a little bit closer. I'll, I'll tell you what, no one likes to watch people fishing. Just take my word for it. We'll be back when I get a fish. I am on fire. That appeared out of nowhere. With any luck, we'll get it. Don't know. Oh, well, that's anti-climate. It, it just appeared in my inventory. Well, you know, look, you're not supposed to be able to fish in lava. What do you want? We're doing our best here. Now, get rid of this thing. Channel member Terra the Cyclock recommends the net bed. Don't know why I said it like that. To make it, you'll need a bed of your choice, three blaze rods, and the tear of a gas to cry yourself to sleep for the nether bed. Now, this bed works a little bit differently compared to normal beds, but you can place it down, and when you stand on it, you'll actually get regen 2 attached to you, and, you know, you'll get nice and healed. And not only that, but it technically sets your spawn point, so all you gotta do now is die! And look what happens. Uh, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. We coded it. it. It's it's a glitch with the current way Minecraft handles code for allowing respawning in the nether. There's nothing we can really do about it. It's just kind of random when it works and when it doesn't. So we'll try again and yeah, it's bye. Okay, but here's the cool part about this bed. If you break the block that the bed is on top of, it explodes as well. It's a little baby guy too, so you don't have to be as worried. Ick, netherite. Number 10, Lava Walker Boots, suggested by channel member Steven DG. 
quite a simple recipe involved for this guy. Magma block and some diamond boots, or boots of your choice to get these. As you may have guessed, wearing them lets you walk on lava. Check it out, baby. Oh, mamacita, I'm telling you, nothing can stop me. I'm the king of this town! You can even turn uh, non-lava source blocks into magma. Yo, I ain't mad about this one bit. I'm just saying, the world is my ocean. Or something. I'm gonna see if I can make it. I'm gonna make it down here. We're gonna do this together. I, oh, oh, because this is gonna be so satisfying. I know you already know. Dude, not even mad. Could you imagine just casually strolling through the nether? Not a care in the world. Might make a happy face. Uh, yeah, couldn't think of anything to rhyme, so. Oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me. I could not tell you how long I spent writing out all of these letters with my boots, only to have enough room for it to say subscribe and click the bell, too. Number 11, Wither's Breath, a short novel courtesy of his channel members. Three Wither Skulls, four glass, bottle of Dragon's Breath, and Soul Sand for your Wither's Breath. Throw this thing to make a wither cloud. Well, I can't throw, I can drink it though. That's nice. Oh, you literally have to drop it. Okay, well if you drink it, you get fire resistance six and absorption, you know, which is whatever. But let's drop it instead. Drop, nice, I, I, all right, all right, okay. Yikes. Well, <laughs> at least it works, huh? It'll make a nice little wither cloud. In you should probably drink one of these as well so that it heals you a little bit. We're gonna spawn some cows. Hey guys, time to suffer. Hey, what's on the menu tonight? I didn't even last that long, but it doesn't matter because they stack. Y'all ain't gonna be mad about this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, all over the place. Y'all cows are so dumb. Oh, it's so easy. Look, beef. Look, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I'm, I'm not psycho. Number 12, the Reverser Staff, suggested by Abstract, Abzertact King. This is a nice easy recipe for y'all to get your hands on. You can right click with it to reverse certain entities. Boom, see, not cows, cause, yep. Yeah. But we can turn magma cubes into slimes. Oh my gosh, that is too big. Let's try that again, huh? Oh, you see, look, normal size. Thank goodness, now die already. Okay, you can also turn pigmen into pigs instantly. Hi, you can die too. Oh, it ain't even a bad thing. I don't even feel bad about it. Yo, I'm spawning a few of these actually. Wait, in fact, where's that button from before? Yo, what's good, boys? Right clicking on them. Boom! Piggies. Wow, and they all want my spear. Okay, guys, calm down. They're about to push me like off a ledge. Can we not? Channel member Max Weber suggests amber boots, number 13. To make them, you'll need amber, which is an occasional drop that you can get from glowstone. Also, I just realized that I have the old texture pack on this whole time. Yo, that's like kind of funny, except not at all. Okay, well, whatever, we got the amber. The idea behind these boots is that when you wear them or any other type of amber gear, in this example, we've got the boots, not only will you be able to handle fire when you stand on top of it. Of course, there's no fire nearby. Ah, there you are, check this out. So look, we've got regen five while we're on fire right now. Now, this armor is taking durability damage as we stand on this. And the regen does not outpace the fire damage that you might take. We no, don't kill me, please, great, but thank you. So I wouldn't recommend staying in the fire, but if you're in fire, while you're on fire, you get serious strength boost. We are one-hitting all of these guys, and they're just taking it. So just step in it for a hot second, because look, you get strength five and regen five for an extended amount of time. Look at this beautiful. Number 14, the nether sword, suggested by channel member Dota 2 for life. They suggested nether warp blocks and a blaze rod to get yourself a nether blade that can set entities, even items, on fire when hitting them. So hi, little pig, you are on fire now. What are you, so dumb? Oh gosh, I didn't mean to throw that <laughs> irony. Here, we're gonna drop this reverser staff on fire and then we're gonna summon in a piggy. Summon in a pig, yeah! Now look, the item instantly burned as well and we weren't even, well, that was kind of sad. Yo, hold on, back things up. I forgot to show something in the reverser staff. I'm sorry, it turns gas into nothing. So now you've got ultimate gas deterrent. What's up, baby? Nope. Oh, well, was, he, now he's too far away. Hey, disappear! I Look, see, he, it works. Just work. You're the worst! Actually, I should have set him on fire. Oh, it doesn't work on them. Whatever. And finally, number 15, the nether shroom, suggested by 
Zoe B, another channel member. Thanks for all the love, guys, seriously. Now, for this to be a recipe, we've added two magma blocks and a red mushroom to get a nether shroom. You'll need to be a hungry little boy in order to eat on this thing, but we've given ourselves a nice hunger button because when you do eat it, you get good and bad status effects. We went ahead and cleared all our status effects, so now let's eat this thing and see what we get. We got ourselves Nausea 3, Regen 6, Fire Resistance 6, and Absorption for about 15 seconds for... Oh, gosh, where am I? What, what is happening? Oh, yeah, make left or right. Also, I'm really good at acting. Oh, man. Yo, I'm glad I survived that. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, no, 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 please. No. Right, we're going to work on fixing that bad one, by the way. But hey, let us know which one was your favorite and leave suggestions for more nether items and updates because we're going to be doing one more nether update for comments to crafting.